Hi there, Mary here. I just wanted to talk to you today about the new moon. Uh, May 15th is um, the new moon in May. Uh, I'm not an astrologer, but I do know that it's also uh, a time when Uranus, Uranus is moving out of the sign of Aries and into the sign of Taurus. Um, I think it's just for a brief amount of time, and then it goes back into Aries for a little bit, and then back into Taurus. But um, regardless, it, it is going to um, be an energetic shift or change. And I myself, am, I'm an Aries, and um, Uranus was in my sign for about seven years. And I really feel myself that the um, that there's a new cycle, a new uh, a transition or a change um, in my own life and I feel like um, as I've been doing readings um, transition comes up in just about every reading that I've been doing so I'm sure that you're feeling it as well um, and I'm not an astrologer so I can't talk about the different houses and how it'll affect your life but um, yeah and the new moon is a time when you know we can really look at what we want to create you know, what seeds do you want to plant? What, what do you want to manifest? What do you want to create in your life? The new moon is a good time to do that. And I have a practice with the, with the full moon and the new moon. The full moon, I, I let go of things that, need to, that I need to let go of. And the new moon, I try to think about what seeds I want to plant. So I've been thinking about things I'd like to create, and I just write them down and... Um, you know, just put that out to the universe in order to manifest. So start thinking uh, of things that you like to manifest and write them down if you like to journal and just put it out there or create a vision board, whatever it is that you that you do to create. But um, yeah, just wanted to talk about the new moon. Um, it's It's strange though, I feel... I don't know, I feel antsy for some reason. I feel like something's coming, but I just can't put my finger on what it is. I feel like something's coming around the 15th to the 22nd or 23rd. And I just feel a little anxious about it. Not fearful, I just feel like something's coming. Maybe it's the event that everyone's talking about, I don't know. To me, the event is, you know, a personal thing. It's it's waking up um, to your to the fact that you're spirit in a human body and um, I feel like I'm not sure it's one big thing but I do feel a change in the energies on the planet so yeah I just feel apprehensive like something's coming um, so I thought I'd pull some cards why not I thought I'd pull some cards to see maybe what's coming from the 15th to the 22nd I'm really feeling that um, this card is called Go the Distance. I'm using um, Wisdom of the Oracle from Colette Baron Reed. And the first card I pulled is called Go the Distance, number 47. This is the card. Hmm. So, what this says to me is it's not a quick race more like a marathon. Um, you know, maybe something that you're working on doing isn't um, happening quickly. Um, it takes time. You know, for my own life, I feel like I'm, I'm building something. I'm building the foundation first. And you need a solid foundation um, in order to build something. So you have to start slow sometimes. Things don't always happen you know, as quickly as we'd like them to. So maybe this go the distance is like, this is a marathon. Um, so don't get frustrated if things aren't happening as quickly as you'd like them to. Okay. Message in a bottle. Hmm. This tells me we need to be aware of any messages coming in, any guidance coming in. It's 15, 1 plus 5 adds up to 6, so 6 is all about 
balance and harmony. So there could be a message coming in for us. And it might actually give us some guidance on how to move forward. And higher power. So I think spirit wants us to look to our higher power, whatever that is for you. Um, for me, it's source energy or God. Um, and you know, for me, the event is waking up to that. We, um, it's the fact that we are, each one of us is God, right? You know, it's in here. Um, each one of us is a fractal of source energy or God. And once you realize that, I don't know, for me it changed everything. I don't feel like I have to look to a guru or, you know, um, I don't have to pray to a certain person. Or I don't have to be in a religion. Um, and it helps me to to know that we're all one and we're all connected, you know. So, um, I think Spirit wants us to know to to call on your higher power for guidance this month. The 15th to the 22nd is, I feel like something's coming in and maybe it's this energy that's coming in um, that's going to um, give us an upgrade in um, our DNA or whatever it is, I'm not sure. But call on your higher power. It's number four, and that's all about balance, foundation. Yeah, let me just pick one more card. Time for a nap. 24. 2 plus 4 is up to 6. Again, that's all about balance. Take a nap. Rest. Rejuvenate. Lots going on on the planet. Um, it can get tiring. Um, you know, I feel like Spirit is telling us to trust. Um, plant your seeds. Know that this is a long distance uh, race. It's not going to happen quick. Uh, just be aware of any guidance or messages coming in. Call on your higher power and then trust. Trust in the universe to, to have your back, um, to help you to manifest what it is you put out there. Take some time to rest and rejuvenate because um, it's a marathon. You're going to have to go the distance, so you're going to need your energy. That's what I'm getting. Okay, well, happy new moon, everyone. Plant those seeds. Create. Um, you're co-creating with the divine. So uh, I hope that you have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.